an adult film about the motion picture industry? What will they think of next? It's Pink Champagne. <laughs> it's Pink Champagne. It's a movie about Tinseltown. Someone should make a supercut of all the adult films that are about the film industry. Tinsel Town, Tinsel Town. How we're gonna end the 70s by going back to the jazz age, the Roaring Twenties. That's where this picture takes place. It's another Lisa DeLeo vehicle. It's a good one too. Guess what? Her third feature, her third film, her third time acting. Oh, this is our third edit of this. <laughs> this film was such a pain, but people loved it. And this was a request. A lot of finagling. We're gonna talk about it in the end, okay? I'm not gonna bore you up front with logistics. Lisa DeLeo is in this picture, and she's one of my new favorites, but Connie Pearl is in this as well, and she's one of my old favorites, that five foot five Texan. You know, uh, in doing the research for writing this little uh, mini script, I realized I've only seen her in two pictures, Pink Champagne, Taboo. OG taboo, first taboo, pink champagne. There's a reason why this film is amazing. It's because David Worth directed it. We need to do a series on him. In 1989, ooh, 10 years after this. Hey, what'd you make in 1979? I made pink champagne. What'd you make in 1989? Kickboxer with Van Damme. What? Not only directed the Van Damme vehicle, Kickboxer, he was the DP. I shot, I'm the cinematographer and the director. I'm just like, whoa. Let's get ready for bathtub gin, bootleg, flappers. Here's your request. Watch it. Don't give me no sass. But now it's time for something different. A new song, a new dance, a new face to photograph. Hurry up, darling, or we'll be late. Time for the sun? What will they think of next? I'll be in the office. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for breakfast, hot shot. My pleasure. Casting? Hello, Myrna? Yes, she was fine, but I don't know where I can fit her in. No, midgets won't do. I want something special. Something with universal appeal. Someone that everyone will want. Well, the bathing beauties are on stage five waiting for your approval. And by the way, Hunts is shooting Sheena on stage six. Sheena? You know, the one they brought in from the Amazon. They're trying to make her into a female Tarzan. Okay. 
I'll take a look. Sheena is fantastic. Did you see her pet cheetah? Mr. Marvin tried to pet it and bit him. Sheena, queen of the jungle. I can see those headlines now. And just to make sure I see those headlines, I'm sending every editor in the country a bananagram. Uh, with Zag's approval, of course. Uh, yeah, talk to you later. I gotta go. April, darling. Don't you, April, darling, me. You're planning a front page spread for that ape woman while all my publicity is in the want ads. I starred in Zag's last three films, so what gives? Oh, two of those films barely broke even at the box office, and then the third one you co starred with a famous dog. Anyway, the only reason you ever come in here is to scream at me and my staff. Not always. Always. Well, I must apologize. After all, a star is only the product of uh, all the people who make her. Then you want us. Uh, to make you? I'm in your hands. Everyone just broke for lunch, Mr. Zagfield. How much did they get? Nothing, sir. Sheena won't come down out of the tree. You mean she's still up there? As far as I know. Hans got disgusted and decided that she might come down if she got tired and was left alone for a while. What does she look like? You'll see, sir. You'll see. Hello. Sheena. Where are you, my little jungle rose? What a productive day. Mm, yes, it was. I still haven't found what I need. I don't think we can domesticate Sheena. No, pink champagne and Sheena don't seem to mix. Perhaps you'll find what you need tonight. Perhaps. I wanted her to come to the party tonight, but Hans couldn't get her out of the tree. All he got on film today was her devouring a side of beef in five minutes. She has some appetite. You've said it. Darling, just exactly what is this place we're going to tonight? Starlight. It's the newest and most amazing bordello in the world. All of the ladies and gentlemen of the evening are made up to look like your favorite stars. So you can have Valentino or West. Chaplin or Harlow, cater to your every whim. Mm. To a Tinseltown fantasy come true. Like he's the real thing. Fantasy is often better than reality. Goodbye, my dear. Bring some more champagne. what I promised you, Mr. Zagfield. This is Shirley Dimple. She sings, she acts. She's had lessons since she was five years old.
been a lovely party, darling, but I have to run. Fine. Where's Shirley? She's inside. She's a little shy about coming in to join you. Perhaps if you coaxed her? Sure. Ciao, darling. I want to make you a star. So what did you think, guys and gals and non-binary pals? What did you think? That's from Bananas, the podcast. They always say that. A lot of versions of this. This got us in a bunch of trouble. Our first cut of this was 18-something, 1851, almost 19 minutes. But this one got a big red stamp and not playable in most regions. So it was so in the red that it wouldn't even play it for you so we went back to the drawing board and got a 10 minute version which is what you're fixing to watch today david worth is the reason why i stand here and talk to you today and this is the master he shoots a lot of the stuff he directs which is crazy why you hogging all the good jobs he's a dp and a director he shot blood sport didn't direct it. Don't confuse that with Kickboxer. So Bloodsport, he shot. Puppet Master versus the Demonic Toys, he shot. If Andy Sedaris didn't direct it, David Worth did. Lady Dragon 1 and 2, have you ever seen those? Lady Dragon 1 and 2? Okay, here's an example. Let's say you're looking at a VHS box that has girls and motorcycles and fire on it. No, I'm not talking about Andy Sedaris. Hard Ticket to Hawaii, anything that's in that genre. If Andy Sedaris didn't direct it, David Worth did. He made a movie, Warrior of the Lost World. I just watched the trailer for, I should have done this talking head about an hour ago. I was getting sucked down this biggest uh, Worth, Worth rabbit hole. But Warrior of the Lost World, 1984. Oh my God, go watch the trailer. Ugh, I love it so much. I've never seen Titanic but I've seen Repo Man 29 times. That's an inside joke here. Remember MySpace, you could have a headline. My headline was, I've never seen Titanic, but I've seen Repo Man 29 times. Now that I'm on the, the Criterion Collection, I've seen Repo Man more than 29 times. And yes, I've still never seen Titanic. Why would I waste my time watching that? Blech. When there's films out there like Warrior of the Lost World, maybe we'll do a, once we're caught up, you know we have a lot of things in the works. I just got to get all these free releases out. Oh my God, do you know what it's going to feel like to, for me to have, you know, I almost quit. But once we get the 101 pulled videos out, remember when we used to have fun? Man, once all these, hey, this is, we're going strong with the five, with the five of five. Man, could you imagine, there's no way I can do it. But could you imagine if we released five from the vaults every, we would be caught up. What are, what's the thing at it? We're in the 30s, man. 37 more to go. Anyways, but once it's all that rigmarole's over, we can go back to doing stuff like the Victoria Paris series, the Richard Mailer series, the cult film uh, October series. Let's just, um, we'll keep it steady with cool ones on Sunday. I'm going to try to get all these 30, so only 37 to go. We're going to get all these out, and then we're going to start doing some fun stuff again. Promise, promise, promise. Thank you for watching. Um, I know tons of people that you just love us and you want to throw money at us. If you do feel like that, you're like, ah, ah, I just want them to never stop. Well, we have a PayPal button and we have a Cash App button. Oh, you know what? Our Cash App's only like three days old. No one's donated. Someone please give me a dollar. You're, whoever's watching this right now, will you please Cash App me a dollar? I don't have friends IRL. I depend on you guys. Someone let me know that I set it up correctly. 
one of our homies, one of my main awesome, I love you, uh, new friends, did do the test for PayPal. So I need someone, and not the same someone, to test our cash app. Don't subscribe, don't like, don't share, just watch, please. I joke around a lot, but if you have made it this far, I 1000% will fight someone for you at a bar. I appreciate you guys. I really do. You make it all worthwhile. All right. One of two champagnes. You got another champagne coming. You got a champagne coming. Um, but I'm just trying to, oh, I just got two more to go. If you're new here, brand new one every Sunday. Uh, Sundays are for church and squeaky clean adult films. I'm Jason from Barefoot Squeaky Clean Adult Films. <sighs> this one's a disaster. Hopefully you can get something in the editing room. What, is there something wrong with my face? What? Tinsel town, tinsel town. Tinsel, 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 tinsel town. Gee whiz, gay, wasn't this fun? Why, I'd rather be in the movies, in fact. Well, almost. What will they think of next?